guys welcome back to my channel um this video that i am recording today which is tuesday the 26th yeah november 26th i'm recording this video now because i wouldn't i'm not gonna be able to do a video this friday uh, it turned out i have to work on black friday so i will be spending my afternoon at work so uploading a video today which is going to be for Friday's video. I was supposed to, I was going to start recording Saturday because of what this video is. If you haven't noticed, I currently have purple purplish pinkish hair. That's the point of Saturday's video. I did do a little clip and I do have a few pictures of what my hair was looking like in the bleach process. So, this is the first time I've ever done purple hair. I wanted to do something new. And this first video of me actually doing a little story time of why I wanted to color my hair and why I went purple. So I've been coloring my hair since I was in high school because I took cosmetology. And for the past three, four years, um, since I've been working at Macy's, maybe when it hit like a hit two years, two, three years um, ago, I actually colored my hair a different color. I actually had it part like ombre -ish, so it was like blue and then pink and um, but I had to retouch my blue because it looked more like of a greenish blue and it turned my pink purple so I kept it like that and then I got tired of constantly having to buy two different colors a blue and a pink every time to retouch my hair when it's fading it so I just started buying blue and I went to full on blue hair rewind back two years ago I went blue again. I let my hair grow out. Don't, sorry for the glare. It's straight like that. Cause I'm recording this on my phone. Um, I went back to full on blue. That means like from roots to ends, full on blue hair. Um, I didn't have to cut my hair. So that was the time period my hair was up to here. So it was below my chin. It was very short cause of how dead my hair got. And then Last Christmas of 2018, I went back to my natural hair, which y'all have been seeing in previous videos, because I used a color filler and a hair color, both from Sally's, to retouch my hair. And recently, I've been trying to go back to burgundy for the fall. And as you can tell, as my previous video, my hair didn't look burgundy, so it looked like the dark brown. So, this past weekend, I put a poll on my Instagram of wanting to do my hair two choices either bright color or fall color fall color is kind of one but then I was thinking either to do a blue no a red or a purple my sister suggests purple because I've never done full on purple so purple one so come Saturday morning, uh, me and my mother went to take my sister to school, not to school, to work, and then we stopped off at Sally's. I go to, we go to the same Sally's we've always gone to. We've already, we know one lady there that we've known for years. Um, so I asked her, I'm like, I'm one unicorn purple. She suggested what purple, and I asked her the bleach of what I can use that hopefully doesn't damage my hair so much this time. So she suggested she two and got them both, waited till my sister got home so we could, well, she can do my hair. She's in cosmetology too in high school, so she wanted to do my hair. So we did that and I'm going to be, I did find some pictures that uh, she took. So I'll be including those pictures and then a little clip that I forgot I had recorded of me having the bleach in my hair. So I will be inserting that and then I after those two, I'm gonna show you the products that I use and how and overall I get a better a little bit better lighting in my house of what my hair looks like. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the products that I use. Don't mind the table, it's a mess. So this is the um bleach and me use from the brand Age Beautiful at Sally's. What's cool is that it does show on the box, uh it 
fights all si five signs of hair, of aging hair, which I liked about it. So I was able to put this on. It is a cream lightener as well. So I managed to be able to put this on my hair and I mixed it with the Salon Care 30 volume cream. So it's a one one ratio. So if I did one ounce this one, I did a one ounce of developer. I had to do about two ounces of each just to fill in my hair. And I had to keep this on without heat approximately an hour, which I did. So after this, I'm going to show you a, excuse me, a clip of what, of what the bleach like looked like going into, I think it was about halfway having the bleach in my hair. I was getting close to the time ending of how this worked. And then I don't have anything I'm putting the hair color in. My sister does. I'm ask, currently asking her if she has any more pictures because we also had to trim my hair after bleaching it because it died because of the ants being so dead. And then this is the hair color I use. The one and only Argan Oil Hair Color Perfect Intensity has vibrant color. It's a semi-permanent, it's ammonia free, so I didn't need no developer like this in it. I could just put the straight color on. And the color Pure Purple. This my sister actually used before, and what I like about it is that it has Argan Oil in it. So, like it says here, it's ammonia free, no developer, uh, it's infused with precious argan oil, and it lasts from six to eight washes. So, the wash I have, so the wash currently in my hair is about the second wash, because I just washed my hair yesterday, so it's looking a little bit more vibrant. The only thing we didn't do that I told her I did not want to do with my hair was to touch my roots. Because whenever I do my roots, uh, yes, they bleach a lot faster, but with hair color, they would have been a brighter purple than the rest of my hair, and I didn't want that. And this is new growth that was coming in from having that medium burgundy blonde, brown, blonde, brown, uh, one of them. So I didn't want to touch my roots this time. I'm just like, okay, maybe a few spots she did, but other than that, this is how my hair looks. Um, it's like a mixture, because since some of my hair with the with the bleach had a little bit of red still in it and i'll be showing you the clips before this one uh of what my hair looked like and i told my mom my sister was like i'll be completely fine if on the bleach there was like some spots were blonde if there was some red because i had saw the red when i had took the little clip but that i was going to be completely fine with any red or pink that was still in it because I don't want to damage my hair anymore trying to get it full on blonde. I was perfect. Like the red and purple make made this. But according to my mother, um, we're going to wait another two, three weeks before we will attempt to retouch my hair with the, the same color, hair color. So I had to buy two of these boxes and I only used one and maybe not even half of this one. So when it comes time to retouching my hair, um, I'll probably do another video on that to show you how I retouch my hair. I'm going to be keeping this for a long time because I really, I need to let my hair heal. And I'm going to go and be finding some hair masks, some hair treatments to not try to make my hair back to be when it was first, before I ever colored it when I saw virgin hair, but try to make it healthier. Because, like, it felt rough. The ends that I had to cut ended up feeling almost spaghetti-like. That happened to my mother when she bleached her hair twice in one day. And now her hair is, like, very short. Like, shorter than a pixie cut. So, I am going to be also doing another video like this. Um, of how I'm going to retouch my hair. I just know that my notifications went off. My sister just sent me the pictures. So, after this clip... I am going to be inserting uh, all the clips. So I'm gonna put in the video first and then all the pictures so y'all can see. And then I'm gonna do another picture, probably with a filter, maybe. So y'all can see how this looks, cause it looks different everywhere. So yeah, 
I'll see y'all in the next video and I'm going to go ahead and start inserting these clips. In this clip, this is my hair when my sister sectioned it so you can see my new growth and the fading of my brown. Here you can see that she's already applied the, uh, the bleach and looking how it's going so far. Hey guys, so I decided to bleach my hair today. So I currently have the bleach on. I have a few more minutes left on. Don't mind the bag. Uh, so yeah, this is what it's turning out to. Like a reddish pink. So I am going to leave it this when I rinse it out. Um, because I am going purple. So luckily I will be rinsing this out in a few minutes. As soon as that's done, I'm going to go and have my sister trim it for me. Don't mind me, I have glasses on because the hair color and the bag is so that my hair stays in one spot so it, that's only out because I just showed my mom but yeah so I'm going purple um yeah so in the next last maybe last clips um or when I film the intro after the color is like done and it's dry um I will film it and I'll show you what I, I'll use all the products I am using to color my hair I bought at Sally's considering I w uh, was licensed in cosmetology and that's where I buy all my hair color from so yeah so I will keep you all updated soon I'm going to be going and rinsing this all out so that um, yes yeah, so my sister can trim it